What's good, everybody? It is your boy, Five Wars Deep. First of all, the news about DeMar Hamlin has been nothing but amazing. I love getting the positive updates. I'm so glad the brother is doing better. So glad he's doing better. So definitely shout out to DeMar Hamlin. We are in Houston. We're coming off the loss to Minnesota. Remember, last year, Solomon had two picks, including a pick six on these boys. What can we do today? Let's do it. Broncos win the toss. Broncos elect to receive Solomon Daniels back there to receive the opening kickoff and will take it from his own five. Here we go from Alliance Stadium. Oh! And he's intercepted. That's too many picks. That's way too many picks. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. I don't want to have to go to Sylvester Jones, but I will do it. Croyle throwing. That is caught and then dropped because of the hit by Dre Bly. First round picks all over this roster in terms of the offense for the Texans. Actually, top five picks. They're running back. Top five pick. Both their top two receivers. Top five picks. Croyle throwing. This one batted down and complete. Coyle throwing, intercepted! Philip Langham. Uh-oh, okay, Travis Henry, okay. All right, Doug James, 44-yard field goal, middle hash, and it is good. Toss to Wooden. Picked third overall in 2009, was the rookie of the year in 09. Throwing, caught, and now incomplete, the hit from Solomon jarred it out. Croyle throwing, incomplete on third down, they've got a punt. So the drive stalls inside the 10, and here comes Doug James. Much shorter field goal, but we still don't trust him. Still don't trust him. And he got it. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Still 6-0 after the Doug James field goal. Croyle giving this thing to Wooden. Only about a yard. That boy Doug James is two for two, man. He is two for two. You can't say nothing about him right now. Can't say nothing about him. Another give to Wooden. And Wooden wrapped up. Here comes third and long. Croyle is sacked on third down. Texans are 0 for 5 on third. Less than two minutes to go here in the first half. Ball around midfield for the Texans. They have not converted a third down today. I don't know if they have a first down at all. Croyle throwing. It is. Caught Tucker. First down. It was right on cue, wasn't it? Croyle, two for, I mean, come on now. Two for 11? My boy, two for 11? My goodness. Croyle, still looking, still looking. Finally throws and has his man near a first down. And they're going to remain with that no huddle. They'll keep that no huddle. Second and three. Croyle, looking. Croyle is sacked. Here comes a big third down with 60 ticks left in the half. Texans will begin the second half with the football. So this is a, a pretty much two for one situation. As Croyle looks, Croyle throws. Intercepted! Champ Bailey. At least I think it was Champ Bailey. It was not Champ Bailey. Champ Bailey was blitzing. This pass was picked off by Philip Langham. Okay, my boy. Yo, Langham and Solomon got to be one of the best safety duos in the league at this point. Langham got all the picks this year. He got all the picks. He had his last year. I don't remember how many he had, but we definitely said his name a handful of times last season. But, hey, man, he has, he has improved significantly. You should have caught that, Walker. We really about to get this ball back to Houston. We about to go three and out. Passing the ball three times and stopping the clock. Are you kidding me? Are you serious right now? How did that work? How in 
the world did Brent Buckley get that ball? How did, how did Siegel get that ball out? We ran a screen on third and 10, and it worked. Siegel going up top. Caught! Tony Scheffler! Travis Henry is that guy! Touchdown! I know it's week three. I know it's week three. But there's no reason for this guy to not go to the Pro Bowl. He, he is killing it this year. This is a strong start. And the PAT is good. The running game is clicking. Doug James is clicking. It's 13-0 at halftime. Start of the second half. It is Texans ball, as we said before. Taking it from their own 20. They're running the toss. I don't know why you're running that. Solomon setting the edge, but he still bounces out, still gets a first down. Where was the defense? They had it schemed perfectly to not let Solomon get the yayer, but still he set the edge, and where was y'all at? Where was y'all at? Texans are 0 of 7 on third down. What do they have for third and five? They're going to roll out. Croyle throwing incomplete pass. Offense has driven the ball to the 15-yard line. A touchdown here could probably put this game away. More than likely. Travis Henry, good gain inside the 10. If we get into this end zone, this game is done. The Texans do not have 20 points in them. They do not have 20 points in them. Siegel throwing. Got his man wide open. Tony Scheffler for the touchdown. That's the Cedric Siegel I remember. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. Doug James to put us up by 20. He's good. The Texans do not have 20 points in them. They do not have 20 points in them. And I want a shutout. Let's get a shutout. No points. Forget 20. Zero. And they ain't letting Solomon get no love. Throwing. It is intercepted Rodney Siegel. Cedric's brother. 30, 20, 15, 10 to the 5. Touchdown. Both the Siegel brothers with touchdowns today. Man, Cedric and Rodney, both of them going off? I know their parents going stupid right now. Their parents definitely going stupid right now. I'm happy for them. I'm happy for the Siegel family. Running that toss to, oh my gosh, Wooden didn't even have a chance. And that's batted away by Solomon Daniels. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Start of the fourth quarter. It is third and ten for the Texans. Only one third down conversion in this game. Just one. Croyle throwing. Oh my goodness, Solomon almost got a pick. On the reception, nine yard gain. Oh, are you serious? Are we really doing this again? See, we did this last season, giving up garbage stuff to the Texans. I said shut out. Look what y'all doing. What is y'all doing? I said shut out, bro. No garbage TDs. None. Thank goodness. And they get the garbage time touchdown. touchdown. See, that's what's wrong with y'all. That's what's wrong with y'all. I said, shut out, bro. We're going to kick. Let's think about this, y'all. Doug James from 54 yards. Nailed it. 30 to 7 is your final score here in Houston. Two and one. Two and one, and we were clicking. We were clicking today. Only Solomon Daniels' stat is a pass deflection. That was it. That was the only thing Solomon did. They 
avoided Solomon in the passing game. They made sure to key in on Solomon blocking wise in the running game. Solomon does that to opposing teams. He does, he does, especially coming off a game where he had seven tackles and a sack. A man had seven tackles and a sack against Minnesota. You don't think the Texans went in there and said, okay, we got to figure out a way to make sure everybody else on that defense has to beat us because we can't let 37 beat us. It was simple. We have to make the Broncos defense beat us without 37. That's a good game plan. I ain't mad at that. I'm smiling at Doug James, though. Oh, my goodness. Three for three on the field goals. 100%. 100% long of 53, three for three on the extra points. That's what you supposed to do. I don't know what the coach and the GM saw in you, but it must be this. It must be this. But when games come up that matter, if you miss some kicks in the games that matter, I'm telling you right now, you won't have to change your name and enter the witness protection program. You better kick like this the rest of the season. I'm not playing with you. Next week, we finally come home. We are back in Denver. We're not playing the Chiefs. We're playing the Chargers. So that was my bad for not knowing the schedule. It's going to go Chargers by week Chiefs. All right, we started the season with three straight road games. We're going to have four consecutive home games in five weeks because the bye week is coming up in a couple of weeks. All right. Until then, it is your boy Five Wars Deep. Prayers up for Damar Hamlin. Glad you're doing better, bro. One love.